this guy here. What do you got? What do you got for us today? What do I have for you today? Yeah, what is this? This here is a double take Phoenix body kit for club car pressing. Okay, and what is this? That there is the Magex Alpha kit for the club car pressing. Okay, so both of these kits fit on this cart. Correct. Okay. If your cart looks like this, you have a club car pressing. Which one do you like better? They both have their ups and downs. They really do. So this is like um, the old style headlight on this one with a different grill. So you can change some options on that. So it could change your mind if you like that one or not right now. But you can do the same with this one. You can't change the headlights, but you can change the grill. So it's pretty cool options. So what are you interested in? What, what would you like to know? Oh, first, the first thing I, is like, okay, which one's more expensive? Indeed, I think they're about the same price. Depending on what I'm So how much do they cost? 1500 this... For, okay. And you, they both come with, they're street legal? <laughs> this kit is street legal. Is the Alpha kit street legal? You have the option of ordering street legal and not street legal. So you can get it a little bit cheaper if you don't do the street legal kit. But it's still around the $1,500 price point. Okay, so the Lux Edition, which is the one with the LED lights and the headlights and everything, which is on the... The premium package. Which is on, yes, the premium package that has the new uh, Lux lights and the Lux grill. So the Lux Edition Alpha Body Kit plus Lux Light Kit plus the Lux Grill Black for the precedent onward and tempo is fifteen ninety nine ninety five. Okay. So they're within fifty bucks of one another. Okay. So the kits are with fifty dollars of each other. Why would I buy one of the over the other though? Is it it's just the looks? Looks. I mean, from what you can tell, right? From online and you're looking at this thing and to me, this... From what you can tell, right? You can only tell by the looks of which one you would purchase. This gives me Pontiac Firebird vibes, and this gives me Ford truck vibes. Yes. And to me, this one seems more classy, a little more elegant with the build style that I would go with. This one seems more aggressive, off-roady, kind of how I look at it from a building sense, right? How do I want my car to look? This one looks great with their seat kits and the color combo. I like the way the overall this car looks, right? But when you come into these body kits, you know, if you're just purchasing this online, you don't know what you're getting. You're just seeing this stock photo image. So hey. dive into this thing and see what you're really going to get as far as the fitment goes and are you going to be happy. We did mess around and we got this in pretty good now, I feel like. So the headlights here, for instance, on the back side, they're all held in with little A brackets. I should say L brackets, a screw and a spring. You have to install yourself. It's kind of okay. annoying. It's kind of annoying, yes. But there's a, when you tighten this in, this seal here doesn't always fit really well. And you can see like right here, I can put my finger in here and the seal. Yeah, I can also see right okay, here. Okay, you can see right here that this this little piece flings up. Um, okay, so don't have too high expectations for the plastic parts. It looks parts. really good. Okay, you know far I mean? from good. It looks really good. If you can live with those little imperfections, I don't knock the kit for any reason. It's just that little thing. and you. You know what it's like having customers in here. They really want that tight fitment and stuff, and it's right. hard. To get that OEM quality, the Icon kind of fitment. It's hard on this kit. I mean, look, look how nice all this fits. You know, it's it's just perfect, right? Yeah. So I would that, that's the next thing I would bring up is here. This is probably one of the biggest complaints I have on this kit is every single one of these bodies on the back, for whatever reason, does not fit into these channels. And it just gives a fitment like this. Pull it out. I mean, they're not going to try to put it in there. You know what I'm saying? I, right. We've tried and tried and tried to get this thing in here. The only thing I'm thinking is that the mold that they make this on has it messed up right in this spot up here. They don't got that shrink right. No. You can even come in here, check a look at this. I want to see how this fits in here and this curves around nice. It's not bowed out and how this fits in here nice. That's the OEM look. Okay, you see here, this body is pushing this out and it will not go in that trim anymore. You see that this is flexed up right here. Mm -hmm. This body's too wide. But it's just a little bit too wide to where it fits on the cart, but it doesn't fit on the cart. So you can fix this if you trim the body right here. I've done a couple of them, but you gotta trim the brand new body you just bought. But little points down on the Alpha Kit on that note. Yes. Now, as far as like the lighting technology, the light up grills, the deluxe turn signal, everything in that nature, as far as their electronics go, but overall constructability, 
this body wins. So let's okay. talk about the double take kit here. Okay, so the double take kit here, my prog my biggest gripe about this thing, if I had to say anything, was these tail lights with this trim cover around it and these tiny little screws. They're really hard and they strip easy. Other than that, body fitment, however, body fitment is very nice. Primo. Um, <clears throat> you see the, the trim's laying in here nice again. I will say we still have the same issue in this spot right here with it being a little bit wider. You, you can see that it's not tucked real nice, but but it's not bowing this whole trim piece out or hanging out. It's actually fit a nice channel. One thing we did not go over with the other body over there is that this one is more of a hard, rigid plastic. Yeah, so maybe more brittle. Maybe a hard hit would shatter it, or maybe. Okay. Maybe, but this is when you when you pick this body up. This is like a more of a solid body, where the Alpha body kit's kind of flimsy. It's got that different plastic feel where it's more flexy. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But overall, I mean, the, the kit looks good. How about the front end? Okay. Glad you brought the front end up. So maybe we turn. Because some... we talked about we talked about the headlight over there and the fitment of the headlight. So we're okay. going to jump back to the fitment of the headlight here before we go on the other things. So you see how this thing just fits in very nicely. And yeah. Nothing's sticking out. Everything's nice and smooth. What's nice about this is that the headlights actually have a threaded nut, like a thread on them. And these fasten using a 10 millimeter nut. Okay, so a little bit bigger hardware? I think sturdier overall, nicer, okay. easier to install. You just set the light in there. You don't have to fight with anything. You put a washer and a nut on, you tighten it down. It sets right into place nice and easy. You don't have that rubber seal around it where you kind of have to fight with it. Mm -hmm. um, like we've seen out here. A little bit, little bit less headache, frustration. A little if bit you, less headache, If you have that OCD where you need it perfect, maybe this is the kit for you? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. When we get a little bit deeper into the wiring of the kit, this one's a little older school. It's not real hard, but there's like a relay you gotta set in. and it, There's one little extra step to do this in the electrical sense of it, but it's not bad. Overall, it's not a bad install. I would say yes to putting the headlights in is way easier than the Alpha. Uh, putting the grill in is easier than the Alpha. The other thing that's probably the most different between the two kits is that this one doesn't use like a brace underneath this body. This body's kind of like... It's rigid within it's itself. Rigid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, so there's no brace underneath here that holds this body up. Here to this one, see how the body's just a little... It's flimsy. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Right? And then it's got this bracket underneath here that holds all this together. And hit something in here it's really flimsy so we have essentially the price points are the same Correct. they come with some cool options for the grills and the little hood options yeah for the install you're saying that which one's easier i would say for ease of install uh, this one's gonna be easier. okay but not by much just not like by much just by the headlight thing okay i mean that's not horribly hard it's just it's harder than this this one it just involves a couple more steps screws into plastic Hold the headlight in there. So pretty comparable kits. Can't really go wrong either way. No, can't really go wrong either way. Which do you um, sell more of, do you think? Alpha. The Alpha? Oh, up here in the, the old mitten state, right next to Ford. We think those look like Fords. I do think that this looks, this is really growing on me. This double take kit's really growing I like on me. The double take body. Are you subscribed yet? <laughs> you subscribe. subscribe. You actually just scared me, dude. You're like, oh, I'm going to get scared. Hey, I would just go over like this. The little, the little finer details. Like, it's, it's a little, little dankier. It's a little dank. Too. Nice hazard. I mean, I like that. Okay. Now, I do like how their blinkers light up here. I think that's really nice. Looks good. Yeah, it does. Shut those off. This thing also has running lights, which okay. just lights this part up right here. And then we can switch to our lights, and this lights up, and then our lights come out. So you got a two way switch in here. And again, like it's like this, you know, we have to look at that. There's not a clean cover over it. Oh, I see what you're saying. We don't have the, we don't turn our headlights on and off here. This is just blinkers, horn hazards. Headlights are on a switch on the dash. Okay. So we're comparing kits. Are those deal breakers? No. Um, does the Mad Jacks do a little bit of our job cleaning that up? Yes. Okay, let's go look at that. Okay, I can already see the, the turn signal stock is a lot cleaner. You got the cover here. Yeah. Obviously, it looks more like a car. Correct. All right. Now, this is the standard style. The Deluxe will have more options on it. But this is where you would turn your headlights on and off, your horn, blinkers. Now, the hazard switch is a different switch on your dash. Okay. Okay. So, let me take a look at the, uh, the lights from the front. Yep. 
Yeah, pretty bright actually. Yeah, it's pretty bright. This one doesn't have brights. This model we're looking at here has got to be a little bit cheaper now. I would imagine. So, what else do we know about these things? That's, I'd say that's it. I mean, you got really, um, it's just your opinions of very, I mean, ease of installation obviously uh, matters, but it's not that big of a deal in this case. Uh, both of the kits are around the same price. They both look good. It's kind of, if anything, it's, it's, a, it's hard to pick which one you want. It is hard to pick which one you want. I don't know if there's one that's better than the other. I just wanted to show somebody who can make their own opinion on the video we show. You know, maybe you don't like the flimsiness of it. Maybe you don't like the certain things that we talked about. Maybe the turn signal thing really bothers you. It kind of bothers me. I don't like that. This doesn't look clean. I don't feel like it's a clean cart. This is a very pretty cart. The steering column really bothered me because it's just not a clean cart. It's a clean cart and those things are unclean that came with the kit. In my opinion. In this video, we hope that we helped some people maybe look at these kits closer and some of the pros and some of the cons. What else is left to do but subscribe? Perfect. <laughs>